Hi, my name is Stephen Schaefer and today we're going to be talking about what's new in 2015 as it pertains to weldments. So let's edit the structural member and immediately see that as I highlight a group, that group is now highlighted in a separate color. For me it's red, for you it could be yellow, uh, whatever your temporary graphics are, uh, but that's a much easier way to see which group you're actually talking about. Also, if we look at the trim corner, or the corner treatment rather, we no longer now have to flip through the pages to find the different groups. They're all just on this one page here and we can easily click through those. Much better way to look at that. There's been some enhancements for gussets that now allow us to uh, create a gusset between a gap. So if we go ahead and, and put our values here, now create my gusset without a problem. You can also create a gusset between this face and this face having a fillet in between them and between these two tubular members. Also between this tubular and rectangular member except now we have to give it a gusset direction so we'll just select this edge. There's also been some enhancements with end caps. We'll select this face. Uh, we've obviously had the ability to do these two other versions outward and inward, but now we can actually go internal. We'll give it an offset direction, uh, or offset distance rather, and then we can even give it a corner treatment of a fillet. And when we section this, uh, you'll see that the section, or the, the end cap rather, is put in normal to the edge of the face, so there's no special machining requirements. There's also been some enhancements with weld beads. You can now place a weld bead across multiple bodies. And if your selection uh, of the different bodies, different set, uh, areas uh, would create multiple welds, you'll automatically see those created for you now. And if we want to get this edge, we can easily create that weld. It's also been uh, support for single body, this rolled feature. If we go to weld path now, we can just select the weld path we need. And of course, to bridge a gap created by this fillet again, we can also use that weld path feature uh, to create that weld. So there you have it, some of the new enhancements in SOLIDWORKS 2015 regarding weldments. Hope you found that helpful. Thanks a lot.